Hello, I'm Valerie McIntosh. I've been an artist here in Maryborough for about 20 years. And I'm going to speak about this piece of work of mine uh, that's Bowerbirds. Um, it's a type of engraving as dry point. And I learnt that craft when I did my uh, diploma of art uh, back in Brisbane in the 1980s. And after that, I also did a number of workshops with Flying Arts to learn different methods of printmaking. One of the things about printmaking is that it can be very stiff and static and in drawing the birds I wanted it to have a bit of movement in it so the dry point is a good way to get that spontaneity into it because you can actually draw on the plate. So with dry point what you do is scratch into a plate which can be metal or perspex, um, in this case it was a milk carton and when you've scratched the design into it you can then ink it up, wipe it back, put it through the press and the ink is held in the scratch marks. Now looking at this you can see the corners of the milk carton but that divides it into thirds which is rather nice and various methods of scratching, little pinpricks that were made, all of those hold ink. Now the bowerbirds I find are a fascinating um, creature. Mr. Bowerbird builds a bower, decorates it with pieces of blue, um, like ballpoint pen caps, um, bits of lolly wrappers, and they will hop around and collect all these blue items and he often will spend time uh, arranging them in his bower which you can see here curving up on either side and he has a song and dance routine that he goes through to lure a lady bowerbird into his bower and then she goes off, the eggs aren't laid in the bower, it's solely for the purposes of seduction, she goes off lays the eggs, raises the chicks. So I was fascinated by these little animals and this was a, I thought this was a good way to portray them. And this print would have been entered in one of the art competitions in Maryborough and at that time the Maryborough City Council had funds to buy some works so a councillor or two would go through the exhibition with um, somebody who had expertise in art who would suggest which ones would be worthy purchases and so that's how this came to be in the council's collection.